When I started to look into how to deal with the Holocaust in my work, very quickly came across the, in some of the gas chambers, there are blue stains on the walls that are still visible today. Uh, by accident, the cyanide and the iron to come together and form ferrocyanide within the walls. The ferrocyanide, which is blue, happens to be called Prussian blue. And Prussian blue would be the, the vehicle, the anchor, that would make my paintings touch the Holocaust in some way. For me, the work is very relevant to today as we see that policies, government policies, are being instituted that place others at risk. I think that as a series, it kind of does this strange thing where you're, you know you're looking at something that is evidence of horror, but at the same time, the paintings are incredibly seductive. Painting is a discipline that's constantly under questioning whether it's relevant, whether it's uh, dead or not dead. If I can actually use politics in order to provide a different answer about painting, then I'm also keeping painting alive and relevant. It seems to me that it's not enough to say how difficult it is to remember the Holocaust, but actually uh, the, the challenge becomes how do we remember it? How can we and how should we and how will we?